you guys are the best subscribers i could wish for hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are ready for this new tutorial i'm going to show you guys how to pop in text using davinci resolve so this is what we're going to work with the first thing that i did was i made a video with some audio and i've just pasted the audio below here and i've created a dish using gimp and this will be the background that we're going to use we're going to place text over it so what we need to do is we need to put in some text over here and you can do so by activating the effects library by clicking on it and then you've got a few options you can choose from but for this tutorial we're going to use the regular text one so i'm going to place that inside the timeline and as you can see it now says title and that resembles the text over here if you don't see this area please click on the inspector and that will show up so that we can start working on this text i'm going to change the text so first let's listen to what i'm going to say you guys are the best subscribers i could wish for and that's absolutely right so let me fill in what i've just said so you guys are the best subscribers i could wish for and now we've got it over here so i want to change the text a little bit because we're not seeing everything as you can see right now and what we can do is we can change the font to any font that we like so tahoma or if you've got some custom ones you can use those i'm going to use open sans i'm going to change the font face to bold to make sure that it's better readable so what we need to do right now is i want to change how this text looks so I'm going to place another enter over here and I'm going to scroll down a little bit and I'm going to make sure that the alignment of the text is in the center. So now it's in the center of the frame and if you click inside the text you will see a box and you can use these points to either enlarge it or to decrease its size. So I'm going to increase its size a little bit. Let's see, I'm going to drag those outwards and I need to bring this back in just a little bit and you can change the text size by using this as well so now it's very big and now it's very small so let me put that back there we go and you can change the tracking and the tracking has to do with how far or close by the letters are and if some of you saw the secret or anything like that the title starts with this like text going from a very wide tracking to a very narrow tracking I'm going to put that on zero and you can change the spacing between these lines as well so you can either bring them apart or you can bring them closer together for this tutorial i recommend that you make sure that none of these letters are in this area because we need to crop some of the things out so i'm going to keep it as is because this will work for us I'm not going to change the font style and we can change the font case from mixed to all caps or to all lower case or to small caps or to title caps and as you can see DaVinci is doing a great job changing everything automatically. I'm going to use all caps just to make it really scream but because I've done that you see that it's too big right now so I'm going to change it again there we go you can move this around as well if you like to by using the mouse button and then just dragging it all the way across the screen but I'm going to keep it in the middle and if you like you can manually zoom in zoom out or you can change the position so I'm going to undo that there we go so another thing we can do is if we scroll back up we can address the text manually so let's say i want to start with a big u so i'm going to select the u and i can just change the size of the u so i'm going to make that 200 and then i'm going to change the guys r to about 80 so now it's a lot smaller i'm going to do the same thing over here so i'm going to enlarge and best to 200 so i'm going to decrease the rest of the text back to 80 but now as you can see the text is all over the place so let me zoom out by scrolling the mouse wheel button towards me i'm just going to drag this in a little bit to make sure that it fits the screen again let me zoom back in so now you see that we've got three words which are larger than the rest what we can do as well is we can change the color of the text so if i select best 
and I'm going to give it a gold like color. There we go. Okay, you see that everything stays white except for this word. So you can do the same thing for the U. And if you want to apply the same color without guessing, you can click this symbol and you see an HTML code over here. If you select it, hit Ctrl C to copy it. Let me hit OK. Then we can select U, click on color and then go here, do hit Ctrl V. And now you see that they have the same color. I'm going to change the wish as well. And there you go. So now we've got a golden color, we've got white, and then we've got the background. That's all I'm going to do to this text. What we need to do right now is we need to duplicate this layer three times because we've got three lines of text. If you've got four, you need to duplicate it four times. If you've got two, we need to duplicate it two times. And you can do so by hitting the Alt and then dragging this clip upwards one layer. So I'm going to do that two times. So I've got three layers in total. And I'm just going to drag those outwards just a little bit because I will be bringing them in later on. But we need to listen to the words and then I need to make sure that the words pop up at the right time. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now using keyframes. Right, so what I want to do right now is I want to remove this area and I want to remove this and I want to bring everything back word for word. So if we go to the audio and we play it, you guys, are... you see that that was the you guys. Then the R comes and then the best. So let's address the you guys first. You guys are... Okay, so about, let me go back to frames by hitting the arrow key. So now this, at this point, the you guys should be shown. So let's click the text. And what we're going to do is we're going to video and then we're going to scroll back down and you've got a cropping area. You can close this down by double clicking it just to make sure that you only see this. And what I want to do right now is I want to crop out this area and I want to crop out the R. So for that, I'm going to crop out the bottom. There we go. A little bit more. And I'm going to crop out the right side by dragging these to the right or to the left. I'm going to make two keyframes right now, one for each. And that means that I want at this point, I want this to be shown. So let's go back to the start and let me play it again. You guys are... Okay, so I'm going to make sure that the U will be shown at first. So now I need to crop it some more because this is where the U ends. So we've got another keyframe. I'm going to keyframe this one as well. Now I'm going back to the start and I'm going to crop it some more to make sure that the U disappears. There we go. So now it automatically makes a keyframe because we already are using some other keyframes. Now let me play the clip. You guys are... So there you see that now the text is starting to appear. And if you want this to be faster, you can bring in the keyframes to make sure that you go back one frame and then make sure the word isn't visible and then go on to the next frame and make the entire word visible. It's whichever effect you like. So in my case, the text is gradually showing up on the screen as I'm saying it. But some people like to use the effect that the words start to appear immediately after or while the word is being said so. So be sure to bring those keyframes closer together if you want an effect like that. Let's move on to the next one. So now we've got the you guys and then we need the are the best. So I'm going to make sure that that here's the R point. So I'm going to go back to the video. I'm going to make sure that I'm going to show the R. There we go. And now the word, the best is going to show up or the words, the best are going to show up. So let's listen to that. Okay, so that means that the second row needs to start right over here. Okay. So I'm going to pull this one in. Now we've got everything visible again and what we're going to do is we're going to crop out the bottom again and then the right side. So let's start by cropping the bottom. There we go. I'm going to keyframe it and I'm going to crop the right side as well. I'm going to keyframe that as well and now let's listen to the audio. So this is where the best ends and subscribers start. So this is the point where I want the best to be visible. So once again I'm going back to the video one. And I'm just going to adjust the crop to make sure that the best is visible. And the word subscribers starts. 
and you already see a keyframe over here because we've brought in a keyframe at the beginning and then we're going to move on to the next part so now we've got subscribers over here so let's go back and let's crop out the rest there we go so now we've got you guys are the best subscribers i'm going to take the exact same steps for the i could wish for a part then i'm going to show you guys how it looks all right so now i've finished it let me show you guys how that looked And like I said before, if you want the words to come out quicker, you need to bring in the keyframes just a little bit closer. And that's it for this week. I hope you've all enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Did you know that you can now either buy me a coffee or become a patron of this channel? By doing so, you can personally help me grow my channel. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram as well. And for this week, there's only one more thing left for me to say, which is make love to the like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Hit that bell button to be the first to be notified when I drop in a video. And until next time, doei!